Well, it looks like the liver has a hot new friend. And that's no pun intended. But you'll understand why in a second. European researchers wanted to look at something called chili pepper, which we're all familiar with, the common chili pepper, and an active compound in chili pepper called capsaicin. I want to say capsaicin, but it's capsaicin. So let's go right into the research and you get a good idea how powerful chili pepper actually is in protecting the liver, uh, at least of these poor mice. Keep in mind this is an animal model. The capsaicin or chili pepper was fed through regular food, so they consumed it though, but it didn't give a dosage or amount of chili pepper per kilogram of body weight as of yet. The second I get that DOI information, I will post it below, but let's get right into the research before I lose you. All right, title, Chili Pepper Holds Promise Preventing Liver Damage and Progression. Citation title to be, Capsation shown to inhibit regression of liver injury and demonstrates anti fibrotic potential. Presented at the European Association for the Study of the Liver in Vienna, Austria, this 23rd of April 2015. Now what they did is they noticed chili pepper has a function in reducing this compound, or I should say reducing the activation of this compound called HSC. This HSC basically results often in liver fibrosis when it's elevated. Let's begin. All right. In the study, capsaicin was found to reduce the activation of hepat uh, hepat hepatic stellate uh, cells, HSCs, once again, in mice models. Now, not mice models, but mice that are models for the study. All right. So, <laughs> that'd be cute. HSCs are the major cell type involved in liver fibrosis, which is the formation of scar tissue in response to liver damage. Now, this is what they did. They took these mice models and separated them to two separate groups. In each way, how would you say, kind of like did things that really were nasty to the liver to see exactly if chili pepper or the active compound of chili pepper is effective in helping them in these both these type of obscure situations, or I should not say obscure, fairly common now. All right, the first one was bile duct ligation, and this is what they did. It says, after three days of bile duct ligation, these poor mice, in which the common bile ducts obstructed and the, basically the bile accumulation led to what's called liver fibrosis. That's torture group number one. Now for torture group number two, which you do with carbon tetrachloride. This is basically liver toxins, so to say, as opposed to liver injury. All right, before and during chronic carbon tetrachloride treatment, CCL4, CCL4 is an inorganic compound that was widely used in fire extinguishers, uh, refrigerants, and popular cleaning agents, which is now known as one of the world's most powerful liver toxins, or in their words, potent hepatotoxins. All right, now they got those two groups, they messed with the livers really, really bad, and they wanted to see exactly how chili pepper impacted that. The first one, the bile duct ligation, this is what happened in response to chili pepper being introduced into their diet. It says the study demonstrated that capsaicin partially improved liver damage in the bile duct ligation, BDL mice, and inhibited further progression of liver injury. So the chili pepper actually kind of reversed the damage a little bit, which is really a cool plus. Now let's look at the carbon tetrachloride group, and this is what happened here. It says in the second group of CCL4 treated mice, capsaicin prevented livers from injury development, but did not reduce the fibrosis when it was already established. So basically it shielded it from further damage, but it didn't have the improvement effect as it did in the liver injury group as a result of bile duct ligation. So bottom line though, is chili pepper, or I should say the active compounded chili, chili pepper, capsaicin may be a powerful new tool in pr protecting people that may have concerns about the liver, either the exposures to toxins or whatever. But what it comes down to be is chili pepper helps reduce the elements which could result in what's called liver fibrosis. Again, always talk to a medical professional. It's always good to have someone by your side anyways to help diagnose issues and get a proper diagnosis to begin with. Again, chili pepper, conversation, powerful tool in protecting the liver, really common, really cheap, just about everywhere. Again, really do hope this helps. This is Rob from the channel, signing off once again.